Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this episode, we're going to ask you to step out of your political tribe for a while and just join us in the human tribe that lives on this planet. The charts you see here were put together by multiple scientists in Indiana, sponsored in a study at Purdue University here in Indiana. The scientists in this state did 10 different climate models to study the trajectory of the temperatures we're seeing. Bottom line is, our state is warming up along with the rest of the Earth. And since the 1800s, when the Industrial Age began, it shot up way, way faster than could possibly be natural. That's a fact. This video is just going to show you a very small example of the effect this has on the ecosystem. Here we have a queen yellow jacket looks like a vespula macula fronds probably and it's so warm today in the high 50s that it looks like she came out of hibernation you see she's got a little debris on her body still from hibernating in the cold we have had some cold weather we have had some snow the temperatures in the 50s i'm sure she thinks it might be springtime So I think we'll capture her, bring her into captivity, and see if she feels like overwintering with us. You see her walking around. You see her deposit waste or venom, which is called a cleansing. You see her do that right there on the wood. This behavior is classic behavior for a queen coming out of hibernation. She's waking up, she's walking around, she's raising her body temperature, her bodily functions are starting to work again. She thinks it's springtime. That is not supposed to happen going into winter in December. This hole in the wood is probably where she had crawled out of. She probably went in there in the fall to hibernate. You can see the debris on her body that indicates she hasn't been moving and she's been hibernating. As you can see on the government charts that appear in this video, there is absolutely no doubt that the temperatures have been rising globally. Here in Indiana, the winters have been coming later, and they're not as cold. There's not as much snow. There is more frequent freeze and thaw cycles than there should be. Winter and spring are both wetter than they should be, with more rain than frozen snow. This year's summer, 2023, was the hottest the Earth has ever seen since records began being kept in the 1800s. The climate is affecting everything from the smallest insect to the largest mammal, all the vertebrates, amphibians, mammals, birds, reptiles. It's unclear how many of these species are gonna be able to survive and adapt to such a rapid climate change, which is truly a climate disruption. Let's see if we can pick her up and capture her. Come on, girl. Let's get you inside. Let's give you a little winter habitat. Okay. So let's give this little girl a drink of water and give her some honey. See if she's ready to eat a little bit. See here how much debris and fungus or mold is on her body. It's hard to tell if it's fungus or mold or if it's just some kind of dirt and debris. One of the problems hibernating wasps have in the winter is that they can be killed by fungus and mold, also by predators while they're hibernating, unable to move. They can be discovered by spiders and other things that can eat them. But she's pretty frisky. She's out walking around. Seems to be in decent physical shape still. So she's uh, grooming a little bit here and there and out exploring her environment, probably a little confused. She woke up in the middle of December at 55 degrees. 
It's warm and sunny out today, it's like spring. So let's give her a little water and see if she'll drink. She's starting to buzz her wings like she might fly a little bit. So we put out a little bit of water and honey for her. There's water in the right side and honey in the left side here in these bottle caps. So let's drop her down there and see if she'll do any eating or drinking while she's in there. Because she's starting to take little flights. She's waking up enough to fly just a little. So hopefully she'll explore this and start to eat a little bit. Naturally discover the food and water whenever she's ready to eat. So you see as she wakes up here, she begins to gain enough strength to start flying. And so she'll drop down into the bottom and then she'll buzz her wings and fly right back up as she navigates the internal space of this container. So here in this glass habitat, we have a Vespula maculifrons nest from 2023 that we dug up in the summertime from underground. We left that inside this habitat and we opened up one of the hatches on the top so that the wasps could go free range and we left it outside and the wasps maintained it. They completely rebuilt the paper on the nest as you can see here. We did a little series on this nest, you can look up on our YouTube channel. But you can see inside how they built it up against the glass. It's just an interesting nest, so we kept it as a specimen. So we just added some honey and water here for this nest. So we're gonna take our queen who woke up too early here in December, and we're just gonna put her in here. There she is. We're gonna allow her to live inside this protected habitat this winter. And the idea is hopefully she'll hibernate, maybe inside the old nest, inside this old barn, which is unheated, leaving it on a shelf out here outside the barn for a little bit so she can enjoy the beautiful warm weather in a safe environment. And once that's uh, been done for a little while, we're gonna go ahead and bring it back into the barn and leave it there for the winter. And maybe she will go ahead and hibernate inside this old nest. For now, she's just hanging out, literally. Relaxing, grooming a little bit. Taking some orientation flights. Right now she's grooming, removing the debris from her body. So she's been in there now about 15, 20 minutes, and she seems perfectly comfortable hanging out in the sunshine, grooming. So it's been about an hour now since she's been inside this habitat. She's already groomed off a significant amount of the debris that was on her body and on her antennas. Seems to be acclimating just fine to the habitat, continues grooming. You see her cleaning her back here, getting more of the debris off.
So now it's been a couple hours since she was put into the habitat here and we no longer see her anywhere in the habitat. So what that means is she's gone ahead and crawled inside for shelter and hopefully she'll hibernate inside this old nest. Looks like she's done that and that was the goal. So that's good news. We've now brought her back into the barn and she can now stay in this structure, this old nest and hibernate in there successfully, hopefully, over the winter. We'll let you know how she does if she survives and comes out in the spring. One interesting note here, the way we can tell she's already moved into the nest is that she's already started to do housekeeping inside the nest. You can see she's pulled out a couple of the deceased wasps that were inside that nest from the previous season back in summer of 2023. So we know she's inside doing some cleaning, and that's a good sign. She's going to move in for the winter, and she'll hibernate in there. So we hope you understand by watching this video that climate disruption is not only real, but it's absolutely vital that every human being understands. It's up to all of us right here, right now, to do something about this. Alter your lifestyles. Alter your business practices. Demand change from your politicians to keep our biosphere habitable for all of us and every living thing on this planet. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.